this video, we are going to compare five different 3D scanners from Creaform and see how they compare on a complicated part. Unlike many videos where you see people 3D scanning statues, furniture, and other easy to scan parts, we're going to 3D scan an engine cylinder head. This cylinder head is a real challenge for even the most expensive, highest resolution 3D scanners. So let's start by talking about the purpose of this test. What we're trying to do here is determine how well each 3D scanner can capture detail on a complicated part. And as you see here, this part has a lot of complicated features. It has small holes, it has angled holes, it has sharp fine edges, it has line of sight issues down in some of the holes. These holes are deep. We've got some shiny machine surfaces, we have narrow channels down into areas, and we have some areas that are rough surface and some are smooth. So this is a perfect real-world test to see how much detail and data each 3D scanner can collect. Let's walk through what 3D scanners we will be comparing in this test. Starting with the Peel 2 scanner, that was formerly known as the GoScan 50, which is a structured light scanner. We have the HandyScan 307, that is a red laser 3D scanner. And then we have the GoScan Spark, which is a structured light scanner, followed by the HandyScan Black, that is a blue laser uh, technology. And finally, the new MetraScan Black, which is also a blue laser technology. Now with any test, you wanna have some rules. First rule for this test is there's no surface treatment being used, meaning we are scanning this cylinder head as it is. We are not spraying anything on it, covering it up with tape or anything else. We want to see natively how each scanner does on a challenging part like this. We are setting the resolution at 0.5 millimeters on all the scanners and comparing them. Part of the reason of, of this is that is the limitation of the PL2 as far as um, how fine of detail uh, it can go down to as far as the resolution. Now keep in mind, resolution is not accuracy, um, it's just the fidelity of the scan. There will be no post-processing done such as hole filling, smoothing, optimizing, edge sharpening, surface optimization, or some of this new AI you've been hearing about which goes in and fills everything in. We want to see what the raw scan data looks like with each one of these scanners. And we will scan until we can't get any more data out of that scanner. Okay, this is not a speed test. Um, this is just how much data uh, each one of these scanners can collect, especially down in some of these challenging areas. How much data in a real world could a user expect to be able to collect on this part. So how did each scanner do? In general, the laser-based 3D scanners are able to get more detail and resolution because of their ability to resolve fine detail and are less inhibited by shiny reflective surfaces. In addition, some of the scanners in this test offer what is called single line mode shown here with the SLM initials, which focuses the sensors on one laser line to get more detail in deep holes and narrow passages. The structured light scanners would definitely benefit with being able to use some sort of surface treatment. This would allow them to pick up more detail, but still not as much as the laser-based scanners. There are many times where parts can't be dusted so that is why we performed the test this way. So let's now take a closer look at what is possible if you ignored our rules and tried to acquire the best data possible. For this, we use the MetraScan Black, but you could expect similar results with the HandyScan Black. We upped the resolution to 0.25 millimeter, and we did some post-processing after scanning to include hole filling, surface optimization, and edge sharpening. Keep in mind, if you are doing dimensional inspection, you do not want to do any post-processing that might manipulate the data and skew your measurements. 
As you can see, the 3D scanner did a very good job capturing a lot of data, even in the hard to reach areas and shiny surfaces. So in conclusion, what did we learn? Well, we learned that all the 3D scanners can 3D scan the part to some degree. Surface treatment would have helped the structured light scanners in capturing more data. The laser-based scanners did do a better job, especially in those challenging areas of small holes, uh, narrow passages, the shiny surface areas. The single line mode available on the laser scanners also yields more data in those tight spaces. And the more expensive scanners will deliver the best results as expected. Additional post-processing can help by filling in some of these areas, but again, you're making assumptions and that may be something you can't do depending on what your downstream application is. In conclusion, would you like to learn more about one of these 3D scanners from Creaform? Well, give us a call or send us an email and we can arrange a web-based or in-person demo to review the 3D scan data from this test in detail or 3D scan one of your parts and take a closer look at that data. We can help you determine what is the right 3D scanner based on your application, needs, and budget.